Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discuss about your project high performance, accurate and approximate multipliers for FPGA based hardware oscillator. In a recent year utilizing the arithmetic operations of multiplications and divisions are frequently employed in the range of applications including image and video processing and machine learning. The DSP block which are available from the FPGA are high performance multipliers and additions to being restricted in the number and having a fixed placements on FPGA. This multipliers may also cause extra routing delays and may be inefficient for lower bit width multiplications which can be the results in the increased power consumptions. Soft IP cores that are designed for multiplications are thus provided by FPGA suppliers as an extra features although this soft multiplayer IP cores for FPGA have improved in the recent years. We propose this paper in the order to give excellent performance while conserving resources. This is achieved through the development of the generic area optimized lower latency accurate and approximate soft core multiplayer architecture that take advantages of underlying architecture features of the FPGA. To construct the accurate and approximate signed and unsigned multiplayer of this paper with the configurations utilizing the suggested technique of this study and to remodify the LUT6 architecture by employing a single LUT5 with multiplexer instead of dual LUT5 with multiplexer. At the end of this process, this work was developed in Verilog HDL and synthesized in signing software and all the parameters were compared in terms of area, delay and power. This is the base paper title and base paper abstract. Here they are fully developed for soft core multipliers with compared to the logic core IP in Xilinx software. Okay, and this multipliers will support it with a signed accurate and approximate multiplier and unsigned accurate and approximate multiplier. This two architecture they are developed using the LUT configurations. Okay, so this is the first block diagram. Okay, the figure 6 will show the Xilinx FPGA slice registers. Okay, uh, here you can verify this is a structure of the LUT 6. Okay, and this is a carry chain operation. Okay, so this LUT structures uh, they are used two LUT 5 architectures with one multiplexer. Okay, and as per this LUT 5 configurations, they are given this equation SI equal to PI XOR CI and CI equal to GI plus PI dot CI. Okay, as per this equations, we need to generate this LUT configurations and we need to develop LUT structure 6. Okay, and we will get the output 6 and output 5. Okay, so this is a core concept of the LUT structure. Okay, this LUT structures we are used for. Uh, the ternary adder structures as a final partial product addition okay and the flow of this uh, work they are given on here the summary of the proposed methodology okay and uh, this is a n cross m basic multiplier design this paper also support the two different bit based multiplications as a LUT structure okay so this is a uh, proposed design flow of the accurate multiplier so in the figure 6 shows the partial product generations of the N cross M proposed accurate and send multiplier. This architecture was developed with the type A and type B configuration. This type A architecture is same like as a full adder design and type B configurations is same like as a AND gate with the carry generations operations. Okay. So in a normal multiplication so we need to generate a partial product. Uh, then after we will start the addition process okay but in this case uh, the accurate unsigned and uh, signed multiplayer they are use uh, the partial product directly to the type block okay so here you can check the type a and type b uh, they are given direct input okay so a0 and a1 and bm minus 2 and bm minus 1 okay so this a0 and BM minus 1 will be added on here and A1, A, BM minus 2 will be added on here. Okay. So this uh, thing is a partial product. Okay. After this partial product, it will come on the addition part. Okay. So this is a one XR gate and this is a one AND gate. Okay. So same like as a half adder structure. Okay. So we are taken as some output in the O6 and carry output in the O5. 
okay so this is a type b configuration so using this type a and type b configuration the figure 6 architectures were developed actually in the figure 6 architecture they are given this much part only partial product once it will be generated uh, after that we need to give this partial product to this uh, ternary adder computations of final product bits okay so here this uh, ternary adder additions uh, we need to take as a final additions with using derivative 6 structure okay so the second part is shown in the figure 13 okay it will be shown the partial product generations of n cross m proposed accurate signed multiplier okay for this signed multiplier they are used the bar googly method based architecture okay so for that they are used here the figure 11 shows the bar googly n cross m signed multiplier design okay for that they are developed a type c type d and type e architecture so based upon this type c type d type e uh, they are added on here okay so this uh, type d will support it on the sign bit configurations and type c uh, will support on the uh, beside of the sign bit configurations okay the type a will be used on the lsb configurations and type e and type uh, b okay and type c will be used on the the last partial product addition okay so after this partial product generations with additions uh, the final partial product additions again also we need to use the ternary adder okay and this is the simulation output of the unsigned multiplier okay here you can check the input uh, a and b and output product output okay and data check value okay and error value okay so here uh, 2 into 4 means it's a 8 okay and 4 into 6 means it's a 24 you can check all the values okay and some of the values will be get the error on here okay you can check the error values on here okay uh, that is the error different okay so here uh, this multiplier will work as a accurate and approximate values okay so some of the values will be on accurate and some of the values will come on the approximate thing okay so here you can check the approximate and accurate value okay so wherever the error came it will produce the output in the approximate value okay so if error is not came okay it will come on the accurate value okay so this is an unsigned configuration and the same thing for we are developed with the signed configurations with supporting uh, the type a type b type c and type d and type e okay signed multiplier okay so here a is a 8 bit and b is a 8 bit okay so here uh, the multiplication output is a will be constant and b will be incremented on here okay you can check the output uh, the data check and product output okay so 8 to 12 16 20 24 and we will get the error on the higher end okay so here you can check the approximate values okay this is a sign link synthesis report for approximate and accurate unsigned multiplier okay so here we will be get a number of slice value is equal to 78 and occupied slices equal to 22 and IOB equal to 32 okay and synthesis result we can get a delay and delay is a 14.067 nanosecond okay and you can check the RTL schematic this is the RTL schematic of this project okay so here you can check the type A okay type B okay with the LUT6 architecture so this is the LUT6 with support of LUT5 and uh, multiplexer okay so the proposed architectures okay and the final uh, carry additions we are used for the exact gates okay so everything will be on here okay and uh, the power report okay you can check 3.294 volt okay and uh, the same thing for signed multiplier okay so signed multiplier uh, LUT will take 81 and occupy slice will take 21 IOBs will take 32 and synthesis report we can check delay equal to 13.818 nanoseconds and you can check the RTL schematic okay here it will come with the type A, type B, type C and type D okay with the LUT6 based ternary 
final partial product adder okay this is a comparison analysis chart for this project okay so here we are compare the 8 bit configuration of unsigned multiplier and signed multiplier okay so number of slice elute is equal to uh, 78 in the unsigned multiplier and uh, signed multiplier will take 81 okay and uh, we can compare occupied slices io based delay and power okay and comparison analysis chart okay and uh, we are written abstract document for this project this is a title and base paper abstract improvement of this project proposed title proposed abstract existing system disadvantages proposed system proposed architectures advantages related notes literature survey finally references okay thank you if you need more video related with vlsi projects implementation Please like and subscribe this channel.